Hello, my name is Craig Tenorello with Interactive Inks and Coatings, and thank you for tuning in to the first of what will be a four short video series on advanced formulation. In this series, we will be utilizing both the Ink Formulation 6 and Color Quality 6 softwares from X-Ray. In this first video, we will be setting up a surface print job in Color Quality 6 from a previously printed customer supplied sample and adjusting our job settings to fit our customers' required quality control procedures. In video two, we will switch to the ink formulation software to create basic materials and establish applications. Then, utilizing ColorNet, we will generate and correct formulas from the references we created in color quality in video 3. In our final video of this series, we will enter our ink leftovers into the database and assign them the proper application. I will then briefly go over how ink formulation separates work off containers by application and prevents cross-contamination during the formulation phase. All the software you will be see demonstrated in this series are available at Interactive Inks and Coatings as part of our ACT Inc. system, along with in-house training and online assistance. If you have specific questions or features you would like us to cover in a video tutorial, please do not hesitate to comment your question down below or contact us at www.interactiveinks.com. Thank you again and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and get started in color quality. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to want to do is create our customer, job, and standards. So this will be a new customer. We'll go new. And I'll say this is Jane Doe. It's going to be our new customer. Okay. I'm going to close here. Now that I've created my customer, I want to create my job. And for Jane Doe, this new job, I'm going to actually give it a job number. Job number 9999. Okay, the additional description will be printed on white BOPP surface print, no OPV. Okay. So Jane Doe has given us a specific set of criteria that we have to live to for our quality control procedures. And it does not involve our default global settings that I have in the system. Our default global settings are, of course, what you see here, D52, status T, no filter. Jane wants her quality control procedures to be D50, 10 degrees. Okay, And she's not going to use DE CMC. So let's finish up here. Now let's go ahead and start by adding our references. These are actual printed standards on white BOPP from a customer. So a, another converter or another printer went ahead and printed these and now they want us to do it. So we're going to get our material here. Again, our backing is a white tile. And we will measure in our first reference. I'm going to call it light green. Okay. Jane does not want DECMC. She is DE2000 as part of her quality control procedures, and she requires that we get within a under a 2DE2000. Okay. So there's our first reference. We're going to create another one. And here we're going to measure this. Alright, and that's a deep red change. Notice how our settings are already uh, basically took what the settings were, the tolerance uh, from the first standard that we put in on this job, and put it on our next standard. We're going to say OK. And we've set it up our references. So we have our light green reference and our red reference. We'll say OK. And there's our first job. The reason I use uh, color quality first, I set up my job first and I use these references is because I do want to use the ColorNet software to pull in the original references I use when I formulate. In formulation, generally speaking, 
you can measure one part of the substrate to another part of the substrate on a, on a printed job and the DEs can, can switch drastically across the web. So I want to make sure I'm formulating to the exact specifications that I set as my reference. Okay, it'll be more accurate that way. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and go over grabbing those uh, standards that we just created. I'm sorry, references that we just created in Ink Formulation 6 and creating some formulations. I'll see you there.